suggest for this to be a good place to go in any place of San Joaquin for a uh, 50th anniversary uh, Lourdes area. So we're out here checking it out. So we might help make this a wilderness area? Potentially, yes. Yeah. If we don't, get stuck. There's a foreground, you can see the seaport and waffle mount. Directly behind is the southern part of the Sauceda Mount. Just in case somebody, uh, immigrants, run into problems out here. All right. Yeah. They won't just die. Hmm, what's out here? Okay. There's an organ pipe right there. Where? Oh, right yeah. there. Yeah. We're here to look at the Seacourt Chihuahua Bureau of Land Management Wilderness Study Area. And we are here at a Arizona Game and Fish water catchment. And it's about a 1500 foot climb to the high point in the Sauceda Mountains where we should be able to get a good look around and see what the countryside looks like. From here it looks pretty darn nice. We can see lots of swarrows, at least one organ pipe cactus, and um, ho hopefully we'll see a few more organ pipes before the day's out. Um, this is about a 10,700 acre unit that was left over from the 1980, uh, 70s and 80s wilderness work that nobody visited here because the uh, Miners in Ajo, back in the late 70s, early 80s, were so opposed to this, we didn't even bother to come out and take a look. But now the mines closed down, long since closed down, and and BLM personnel, staff, uh, suggested that we take a look at this. Appears it was a good choice. Mm. Here. Huh. I don't know what this is all about. So this is where the Chihuahuan yeah. Desert meets the Snorin Desert. Uh -huh. 
Mostly saguaros. Can we look down in that water catchment? Oh yeah. The Chihuahua Mountains. In the background there. These mountains are located just east of Ajo, Arizona. There's an organ pipe. Maybe a little set down here be in order. Yeah. Because we're getting pretty high on this thing. Yep. Are we on top of something here? Yeah. Oh. It looks like it gets a little easier. Yeah, for a while. Oh, I hope there's not a drop off up here. Just drop off. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Where's it going? I don't think it goes up here. Maybe it does, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it does.
This is the final grunt to the top of this peak. And I'll probably make it up there thanks to this trail built by smugglers of immigrants and drugs and things. And with any luck, won't be any smugglers up there when we get there. Pretty decent trail. You can see Jim up ahead. Here's Mexico off in the distance. Right here, oh, nice. sleeping bag and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty close in there, pretty far. Even have sort of a roof on it. And then there's all kinds of cans and things up here. A little cooking area. Another cabin up there. Another cooking area here. Oh, there's batteries, car batteries. Jugs, mirrors, Thank <laughs> you. 
See that antenna or whatever that is down there? Thought I didn't think we'd make it. Yeah, they're like a foot wide and some wiring going down to this antenna. And then there's a, some batteries. So see if they have batteries here. Yeah, hold on. Solar panels to charge it. Huh? They have a roof on this thing and everything. They built it out of this God knows what. Some like burlap or something on top and and sticks. Huh. Rocks. That must just go right back in there. Oh yeah. yeah I took a picture of that one. Yeah, well this is where they have some solar panels and batteries. Solar panels, mirrors, water jugs. They do have the top of this mountain somewhat trashed. There's a cooking area here. Nice binoculars. Bush now. Improvised cup. Grill. Pan. Garbage bags. Battery charger. A lot of toothbrushes up here. This appears to be the living quarters. Get sleeping bags, miscellaneous stuff. Screwdriver. So you can see this nice trail goes down and follows this ridge over to the little mountain top over there and then proceeds down from there. You can see Jim down there working his way down to that ridge line.
switch to the car. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. Without this thing, it's the... how it goes. <laughs> 